I'm Laughing Woman, and this week I'm going to do a reading about our financial well-being and ways that you can use the general energies of the week in order to either enhance your well-being or stabilize it. Clearly that one wants to be part of the reading. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is that it's important to face your challenges this week. So if you're having financial challenges, whether they're real or they're in your mind, things you're trying to puzzle out, it's important to deal with them directly this week. Don't try to avoid that kind of stuff. Next week is not the time to do it. This is the week to do it. It's also very important this week for you to give yourself permission to step to the next level in your financial world, whatever that next level is with you, whether it's a career advancement, whether it's going from making investments to making more investments, or whether it's going from subsistence living to being comfortable in your life. Just give yourself permission to make that transition even if the transition isn't something that you yet understand how to make. This is also a week to collaborate about money. And what that would look like is either you find a, a resource for finances that includes the participation of somebody else, or maybe you get some advice from someone about how to handle or expand your financial world. The, the important thing is that you don't go it alone about your money this week. The way you've been thinking about it is not going to take you to the next level. This is a week to review the history that you've had with money. Has it been good? Has it flowed easily? Has it been troublesome? Are you aware of where you've been with your money? Or have you let that be something that you're pretty unconscious about? Just get, get aware of what your history has been and allow yourself to be honest with yourself about what that history has led you to today. This is also a week to get happy about money. Money is something that in today's world does enhance our lives. You don't need to have tons of it, but people who don't have enough to live with and get by on really do have a hard time finding a place in the world that's comfortable for them. So let money become a source of happiness, not the source of happiness that's within you, but a source of happiness instead of it being a source of struggle for you. In summary this week, what you're looking to do is first and foremost, be honest with yourself about your financial situation and face any challenges that are there whether those challenges are external in the form of debts that need to be paid or obligations that need to be met, or whether those challenges are internal in the form of your beliefs about money and how you relate to it and what's available to you. It's also important for you to work with somebody about your money this week. It doesn't matter if that's an advisor or a friend or an employer. Just work with somebody else. You need some fresh ideas about how you relate to money. And let yourself look to taking your financial life to the next level, whatever that is for you. Have fun with this. Play with your money. Allow it to be something that you use to expand your joy in life and to help expand the joy of the people around you. Have a wonderful week this week.